Wouldn't it be great to be able to enjoy a sweet treat with all the negative health consequences of white sugar? Well, we're going to show you how you can. And we'll follow up with an amazing cake recipe that you're going to want to make over and over again. The trick is, you won't even suspect it's healthier. And we're going to begin right now. Okay, everybody, here we go. Sugar. Just a reminder, the Healthy Exchange is really about trying to help you make better choices with your diet that are not complicated, rigid, or expensive. So here's the deal with sugar, processed sugar. Besides providing empty calories, refined sugar is highly addictive, causes blood sugar spikes, interferes with nutrient absorption, and even is linked to heart disease, weight gain, and other degenerative diseases. And who wants that? Hey, but wait, there is good news. By swapping out white sugar, for more minimally processed natural sugars, you can reap the benefits not only in your body, but you can reap the benefits from these healthier sugars. So I wanna share with you three natural sweeteners that you can use in place of white sugar. So whether you're cooking, baking, or even drinking your morning coffee, and you wanna try a natural sweetener, here are some options. First of all, coconut sugar. Coconut sugar and granulated sugar are a one to one ratio. Coconut sugar will slightly change the texture and flavor of baked goods. They can be less moist and more crumbly. I personally use coconut sugar in cookies and even banana bread. The second option you have is date syrup or date sugar. You can choose either option. There are a couple of different ways to use dates. And what I mean by that is the date syrup or the date sugar. So date sugar can be found in most grocery stores and you can exchange it one to one with regular refined sugar. It will provide your sweet treats with a more softer texture and a sweeter flavor. The next sweetener I want to talk to you about is honey. Honey, when you use that in a recipe, you want to use a half a cup to two thirds cup of honey for every cup of granulated sugar. Honey provides a more floral flavor to your treats. So there you have it. Coconut sugar, date syrup or date sugar and honey. These are not an exhaustive list, but these are good options for you to choose in place of white sugar in your cooking and in your baking and even in your favorite drink. Remember that when you choose these options, you are not only choosing to improve your health, but you are also not sacrificing the foods you enjoy. And you can start swapping out healthy alternatives to white sugar right now. And speaking of which, Amy is coming up next and she has a great recipe that I mentioned earlier that you're gonna love. In fact, it's one of my personal favorites. But before we get there, let us know if you choose an alternative to white sugar and comment in our comment section below with what it is you choose to use. So if you like what you saw today, be sure to subscribe to our channel and like the video. You'll find the recipes down below. Sugar. I hope Marianne inspired you to make some healthy exchanges, especially when baking, and that's what we're going to do today. Today I'm making my honey love cake, I like to call it. I adapted it from an almond cake that I used to make and made some healthy exchanges. So this is a wonderful dessert. It's just scrumptious. It can be used for any special occasion. I love especially to try it on Valentine's Day and make it in this heart-shaped pan, but you can use it for any time that you're having a special occasion and you want a cake. This is moist and delicious. It's gluten-free, it's dairy-free, and you're just going to love it. It goes together really simply. So let's get started. I'm going to start with my baking pan. I want to make sure you prepare it well so you can get this popped out. So you know how to do that, right? You take a pan, you grease it, and you flour it, and then you put wax paper in it the shape of the pan you put some more butter and flour and of course the flour I'm using today is not white or wheat flour it's almond flour and almond flour is going to be so good in this recipe because it's very moist it has that good fat in the in the almonds and that's just ground almonds that's all it is but this recipe has no butter or oil or any kind of fat in it so it adds that nice moisture but it's still a very light cake so almond flour is the base so i'm just gonna get that shaken around here and then my pan is all ready so let's start with the dry ingredients it's only one cup of almond flour that's all that's in here and again it's just a small amount of flour to make this whole cake because it rises up with the structure of the eggs that we're going to do in a minute so one cup of almond flour here and then I'm going to add a quarter cup of cassava flour. Cassava flour is made from this cassava plant. It's from the root, and so it's going to have a lot of starch in it, and this cake's going to need a little bit of starch in there. But again, it's going to be a really low-carb 
um, cake because of it's mostly almond flour. But that's the cassava flour. And then my leveling, I'm just going to add a teaspoon of baking powder and just a quarter teaspoon of salt. Just get that all mixed together and set that aside. Okay, so the dry ingredients are set to go. Now I'm going to work on my wet ingredients and it starts with the eggs. It's really important. I'm going to have three eggs and it's really important that you have them at room temperature because they're going to blend up a lot better for this. This is how you get the structure for this sponge cake. It's gonna be um, the structure of kind of like a angel food cake, but it has whole eggs in it and it's still gonna provide that spongy structure. So, and we have the three eggs in here. I need a bowl that's small but has high size because I'm gonna whip it up. And this is the most important part. When you blend it, you're gonna blend it with the electric mixture on high speed for about four minutes and literally you need to time it for at least four minutes. That's going to give it the structure. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to start blending it up. Here we go. Okay. I got my eggs all whipped up here. They're looking fabulous. See how much the volume has increased is way up here. And that's why you need this, this bowl that has high sides and it has this beautiful like lemony color, but it's really almost stiff now. It's very frothy. And again, almost like an egg whites, but again, because it's a whole eggs, it has this little bit of a lighter texture. Now what you're going to do with this is you take this and put it in a big bowl because we're going to combine everything in here. We have a few more wet ingredients to add, but all the fluffy egg whites and go here. This is how you get the structure and the volume of this cake. It's, it's a sponge cake. And, and that's because of the air that's in there from these egg, from these eggs that are being out. Okay, so the rest of my wet ingredients here, third cup of almond milk. So again, this is non-dairy. So this is what's great about it. And then just a teaspoon of, of uh, pure vanilla extract. That's gonna give it a nice, rich flavor. Okay, and then for my great exchange honey. Instead of a cup of sugar in this recipe, I am using a half a cup of honey. And my trick to putting the honey in the cup is I put a little drizzle of oil in the bottom so I can get all the honey out. But a honey, it's a real food. I'm using raw honey. So much better. It has a lower glycemic than sugar. It's not a refined product so much healthier for you. So this is going to be great. And it's going to give that great honey flavor as well. But I am going to add two tablespoons of sugar. I have um, organic cane sugar here just because it adds a good texture to this cake. Typically, you get a little bit of the structure from the sugar as well. So I have some sugar in here. So I'm going to just blend this together. And you don't want to overbeat it at this point. You just want to kind of get it to the point where it's combined. Put all those ingredients combined in here. And then we're going to add the dry ingredients add the flour in a little bit at a time. Now I am using this pan that is this heart shaped pan so it's going to rise up and be kind of a thicker cake. You can also make two thinner layers. You can use two round pans and then of course when you pop them out you can put something in the layer and make a layered cake. But of course the, the baking time is going to be much lower on that. So um, we're going to get this in the pan. This is going to bake at a 350 degree oven for about 25-26 minutes or so. That's going to need to cool for at least an hour before you pop it out of the pan. But I want to show you how I finish it. You can serve it like this in a little triangle but I'm going to put some beautiful fresh raspberries on top when I serve it and they're going to be so delicious and some almonds that I have just sauteed a little bit in a pan with in some butter and then I salted it and so it's going to give kind of the salty offset to the sweet and then I have something else I whipped up some coconut cream instead of whipped cream for this I whipped it up on high so get in the nice consistently just like whipped cream and I'm going to put that on top. So this is how you can make a delicious dessert for any special occasion and it's a healthy exchange made with almond flour and honey. So much better for you so that you can be well and enjoy the time with the ones you love. Enjoy. You are my candy girl and you got me wanting.